children my kids will be indigos obviously i'm a fucking god and i know what that means you know what that means well i don't know anyways music every song is different for every person and everybody can relate to music differently but for me i love that line because i'm learning how to become like the creator that created me in his likeness i am coming back to him by developing and evolving my consciousness and working on transformation and yeah my kids are totally fucking indigos and star seeds and fucking whatever because technically i was one and now my transformation goes from being the star seed and the indigo and all that shit you know the empathic light worker to I'm no longer those things. I'm the fucking god now, motherfuckers. So suck my godlike phallic. Oh shit. Why am I saying this shit? Hey, what's going on? So, I did one video today, but it was 18 minutes long, so I pieced it up into two and I put it on the tube that we, you, watch. Um, well, I watch. I love YouTube. Well, I don't love YouTube, but I love good information on YouTube, which you really gotta be careful with what's good and what's not good. I think, um, you know, I think there's, there's uh, you know, maybe 25% out of out of the whole hundred, okay, is out of a certain topic, let's say, you're trying to learn about the brain, you're trying to learn about, you know, spirituality or this fucking, you know, awaken movements and all that. Now, the guys for truth and what's true and what's false kind of thing is different for every person, but I'd still say for a person at the time whenever the truth is relevant and it, you know because things are true and things you know are subjective but at the same time there's still some underlining truth to things there okay there's like something that is real behind something anyways I'd say 25% of the information is accurate and useful and then the other 75 is somewhere between just vague information and or not accurate at all either on purpose or just you know anyways and out of that 25% you're probably only gonna hear you know, probably 10% out of that 25% is actually from somebody who you know whether it's it doesn't matter what it is building something to fucking you know whatever 10% uh, of it's actually gonna be the person speaking about it is going to be the person who has actually done it, which means, you know, 50% out of that 25 is copycats that ended up copying the right people. Okay, so 10% is accurate information, and then there's 15% of people that realize that that's the accurate information, and they get it right, and the other 75 are trying to find a version of that or intentionally trying to fucking go against it, is what I mean by that. So... I love that shit on YouTube. I don't love the rest of it. But understand, it's there for a reason. You know, the more people that are consciously watching YouTube instead of sitting in front of the TV and being programmed, um, if 75% of the shit on YouTube is still false shit or, you know, fear-based media, because there's a whole lot of fear-based media on YouTube you can watch. And, you know, sometimes it's sometimes it's not as bad as the news because the news can be pretty bad. But sometimes it's worse than the news. So you really got to be careful. And that takes me back to the whole importance of when you're manifesting. See, uh, I said in the first video I put out today um, that I wanted to, my goal, I guess it'd be my new newest goal. My first goal was to come out here and speak my truth. People like um, Fraser Xavier uh, and you know Ralph Smart and many others. Um, maybe Great Braden, um, and you know, there's so many that I can't ma mention them all, but all these guys that I looked up to and learned from, specifically, there was, there was a lot of them that hey, Birch even uh, Birch teaches this shit to. I don't know if he says to start a channel or not, but you know, he's one of, inspired me by the way he does it. But 
um, come out here and speak your truth and let people find out about this. So Burge is into correcting pe magic because people get witchcraft and magic procedure wrong. And since he's been in a lot of old craft and he knows so many, um, he kind of sets the record straight. So that's why it's always one of my sources. See, before I started doing magic, I was watching magic. And like I said, I was going to start speaking on it. I even started making videos in my garage a long time ago. But I technically wasn't practicing anything. The only thing I had achieved at that point um, was simply I wrote down the script and my manifestation happened. So I, I immediately wanted to start doing this. And it's probably because I felt a pull to this, but I wasn't ready yet. And, you know, I put some videos on, but none of them got any traction. You know, just a moment here. Sorry about that. Alright. I just sent a text there. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Anyways, sorry about that. People are pretty close and I still feel a little self-conscious when I see people getting too close to the car and you know, most people nowadays will think you're talking into Bluetooth or whatever, but when they see the camera in front, they're going to be like, oh, what the fuck? Anyways. Um, so this plays into the whole, um, me wanting, one of my goals is now, well, I was sorry, I was saying, um, how I made videos in my garage and they're about how to point out when someone is a fake guru, which, you know, and when I got no traction with that, thank God too, because that way if I would have got any kind of attention with something pointing out negative fucking, you know, something unuseful like that. Like, how is that going to, that? how does that provide a service for anybody? It doesn't. You know, I know some people do get hits on, you know, like reaction videos or whatever, but if they're promoting an artist, then, you know, maybe that's why they get some traction, but just straight up just dissing people. And even if I was right, I, you know, I didn't get any traction with it. Thank God I didn't get any uh, attention with it. So I stopped it right away. And then I eventually found the podcast, Breaker, through um, Uncle Birch. And um, got some traction on there, and then they all went to YouTube, my videos, and you know, here and there, I had a video. Um, first one was me showing my manifestations, which is my house, my yard, my car. Anyways, but um, my goal is because if people are starting off in this, even even when you start, like you can know you need to reprogram yourself. You can know that sitting in front of the TV is wrong. You can consciously know all these things, but. All your routines are deep into your subconscious. One second. Hello? Hello? Yeah, should I get the ant spray too? I think we're good right now, but yeah, I mean, if it's not that expensive, then sure, yeah. Well, it's, it's 10 bucks. Well, that's so up should to I you. just wait and see? Uh, we haven't had any an issue, but you know, now. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd wait. Okay. Are you done or? Yeah, I'm going to be heading out there. Okay. Did you see where okay. I parked? That? Did you see where I parked? No. Okay. Um. Anyways. All right. Text me. I'll, I'll message. I'll okay. call whenever if I can't find. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Bye. Uh, this is the thing I'm talking about. When you start doing stuff, you get all these little things that kind of stop you, delay you, fuck with you, and it's probably your own mind pushing back because you have subconscious programming telling you you shouldn't be doing this, and or you pick up thoughts that tell you you shouldn't do that and maybe you accept them so then when you go to do something anyways back to what I was talking about um I ended up getting on Spreaker and I got some traction there because you know it's providing a service and the service was helping people find this information being another source saying it's real you know even if people don't listen to me or if somebody important listens to me and they transfer my message to millions then great I'm happy with that or if I help somebody who doesn't like watching the guys that are you know, more popular, they can maybe they're frauds than whatever. I don't really care, but somehow I provided a service because then I started making enough money to cover the show. And, you know, I can't say it took off because I got like only 20 subscribers on YouTube, 22. But, you know, that's going to grow. It's always growing. Um, uh, I get like free on, uh, on Spreaker. But once again, I don't go by that. I go by the amount of downloads I get. And, um, Today is the second or the third? What is today? Today is the second. So technically today is the last day of the year cycle that is my um that is my uh, spreaker. My um 
my podcast. I started my podcast May 3rd last year. Um, I mean, that might not be accurate. I think I may have started earlier than that. That might be going by the monetization. I'm not really positive because um, I think it was more like April to be honest. But, but you know, nonetheless, it was a big step for me when I did that. Um, it's funny too because when uh, Beltane just happened and I'm like, I can't, I didn't do anything for Beltane, May Day, you know, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to try to make a podcast tonight, but I'll probably do it tomorrow on the anniversary day because today, you know, from people think from Saturday to Saturday is a week. Well, from Saturday to Saturday, depending on the hour and how anal you are, but from Saturday to Saturday is eight days. It's not a week. Um, but from Saturday to Friday is the seven days, right? So from May 3rd, 2019 to May 2nd, 2020 is a year. I've been on my podcast and I've got, I want to say over 10,000 downloads or just under 10,000 downloads. I can't remember which one. So, you know, if you divide that by, you know, 12 months, um, you know, it's not quite a hundred uh, a month of downloads, but you know, to me, that's pretty good considering the starting, it was pretty slow. It took me a while to get some traction. So um, right now, because my months are more than that now, but at the beginning they were less than that. So, you know, now I think I'm anywhere because like I've had days where I've had 200 downloads. I've had a day where it was almost 300 downloads. I've had weeks with four or 500 downloads. Point is, um, I, I kept sticking, I keep sticking with it because who knows what could happen. Maybe I blow up, maybe I don't. It's not about that, but I see it happening and it will eventually become that. It's just, you know, you gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I haven't ever visualized myself being popular on either Spreaker or YouTube. I've never visualized that once because to me, it's not a necessity. And right now, the way things are going, I get just as much joy of doing what I'm doing now. If I was to try to do that and it work out, then, you know, a lot of things could change and it might suck the joy out of it. And I don't want that because to be honest, right now at this present time, this is one of the main things I like doing. And that's why I've been doing the videos more than the podcast lately because it doesn't take as long. But my pod, when I make a podcast, depending there, some of them I just strap together and not the greatest, but some of them, you know, getting all the information right, you know, it took a little more time to get the structure right and the audio right and, you know, pre present it better and get some songs in there. I could, it could be a really, really great show. But I, I, I put all my, um, all my effort in collecting the information and then putting it all together correctly and or trying to anyways with everything else going on in my life so but anyways way off topic um but yeah so when I started sharing uh, I was sharing on something that wasn't uh, creating uh, value or helping anybody out in any way shape or form and now I believe it does um, but I was just being a voice saying that magic is real and if you want to change your life this is one of those ways that can do it and I never claimed this is the only way to do it and this is the only truth I think in my first episode I kept saying magic is real magic is real and then after that episode um, I, I said uh, I corrected my very second episode. Uh, first one's, they're all 15 minutes up to uh, episode eight. I think it starts at 45 minutes. But I corrected it after that and um, and said that real, uh, what I meant by real is that it works and not necessarily it's real because someone who doesn't believe in it, it's not gonna be real for them. But anyways, um, that was my main goal was just to be another voice saying it's real and to help others you know find the shit and help spread the information that I learned from all the people I learned it from so anyways off of that now because that's not what I want to talk about and now my goal is now to add to the thought form the spirituality the movement the group whoever is in new age and whoever is in um, um, trying to do law of attraction or ma witchcraft or magic, I want to make sure that I spread that to do these things, it's best to have this base amount of procedure, ritual, exercises, um, certain criteria you should possibly do, depending obviously on the person. And like I said, these things you can incorporate in your own way, as long as you do a version of this with, you know, because using the correct words is something everybody needs to know. Uh, how how the subconscious and the conscious works. The, you know, astrology can really open up your eyes, stuff like that over and over and over again. 